Hey Optometrists, and welcome to another episode of Having Fun with Optometry, where we learn about optometric lessons and apply them in our day-to-day -day lives. It's summer, the sun is scorching hot, lights and shadows are sure to play an integral role in our daily vision. Today's episode, we'll be discussing about stereopsis, three-dimensional listen, and how lights and shadows can affect both of them. Now, without further ado, let's have fun with optometry. So what is stereopsis? Stereopsis is the ability of a person to determine whether in fact an object is three-dimensional or not. By three-dimension, we mean an object has length, width, and height. There are actually a lot of three-dimensional objects that we see from day to day. For example, people, buildings, boats, and even something as thin as paper is three-dimensional. So what are two-dimensional images then? Two-dimensional images are anything on a flat surface or plane, or anything that only has length and height. Take this drawing for example. No matter how complex we try to make it, it will still always only be a two-dimensional images for just having length and height. One-dimensional images are simply lines, and zero-dimensional images are just a dot. Going back, Stereopsis can only be performed by using two of your eyes. For example, hold out your finger and close your right eye. Now close your left eye and see that its position changes. Now close both of your eyes alternatively and a bit faster and you'll notice a change much clearer. Now open both of your eyes and see one centrally located finger. This is how Stereopsis works by combining two images of your right and left eye to produce one stereoscopic image. But even with just using one eye, we can still assume the stereopsis of a lot of objects by using monocular cues. Monocular cues are a hint or a way for us to observe the world in three dimensions. That is, we know how far, long, and wide things are apart from each other. There are a lot of monocular cues, such as aerial perspective, mathematical perspective, size of the retinal image, and distribution of light and shadows. With this episode, we will focus on the latter. Light acts as a way to help us determine if an object is near or far by the color it gives us. Closer objects tend to be more colorful than the ones way at the back. Examples of these are mountains. Notice how different they look? This is because of the Earth's atmosphere. Light also acts as a way to help provide shadows. Shadows help observers discern whether an object is three-dimensional or not. 3D images almost always emit shadows, while 2D images never. Looking without shadows make it hard to determine whether an object is far from one another, but with shadows, it is way easier. Shadows make it easier for people to determine if an object has three dimensions. That's why in 2D drawings that uses shadows, the image appears three-dimensional. But no matter how complex or beautifully shadowed your drawings are, the image is still and always will be two-dimensional. Lights and shadows play an important role in stereopsis and three dimensions. Now that it's summer, look around and see what other things you might find that are three-dimensional and two-dimensional. But that's all the time we have for today. So good luck, optometrists! and see you. It's Rose Richard. Well, what's the matter with you? What's the matter? You're old, you, you know. What? You're, you're old. Ah, <laughs> Timbenya,